you've all been asking. And so I have delivered. My end-to-end -end UX and UI design course is finally here. But before we talk about what's actually in it, let me be really clear for who this course is actually for. Every designer is at a different stage in their career and are probably facing very different challenges, but ultimately with one goal, which is to be a great designer so they can land a job or charge more and earn more money to live the life that they want. Now, the one thing that allowed me to build UX design projects from $20,000 all the way up to $200,000 and my old UX design agency was having the ability to confidently manage and tackle the entire strategy, research, design, and even the product development process. Obviously, I can't guarantee that you'll replicate my results right after this course. That is simply unrealistic. But what I can guarantee you is that this course covers a major part of the exact process that I used. So if you have asked yourself this question, how do I manage a project end to end, starting from receiving a brief all the way through to planning and strategizing the project, building out the site maps and user flows, wireframing experiences that actually drive engagement and business objectives, creating a lean brand and designing UI that looks great, and even running user tests for your very own designs, then this course is for you as it's packed with an end-to-end -end real world project that you will complete with me with a ton of strategic tactics and processes that you can also apply and implement into any other project starting today. Now, knowing how to run a UX and UI design project confidently end-to-end -end is the one thing that will help you unlock bigger projects, more jobs, and confidence with stakeholders. So let's go ahead and take a look at what's actually inside this course. All right, so once you have purchased the course, you will land into a learning environment over here. As you can see, we have all the modules and lessons ordered in a very structured way for you. But before we dive into specific lessons where I show you the videos for each part, I wanna go ahead and share with you the Figma files. So at the start of the course, you'll be asked to download the files. You would obviously download them, unzip them. Then you'll head over to your Figma, create a project, hit import and upload the files. You'll see that there are 11 files, module one to 10. Every module will have a corresponding Figma file. And there will also be a source file for you to just reference some of the UI designs that I have created as an example alongside this project. Let's just take a quick look at module one. You'll see that on the left-hand side, you'll have all your lessons. And whenever there is a purple circle, that means that there is an actual activity or challenge for you. You can see that there are these custom built challenges and tasks that you will need to complete. Then in module two, very similar. This module is all around the overview and the contextual understanding of the course and of the real world project that you'll be completing alongside with me. So we detail everything over here in this course, there will be no UX research being executed because we do have a dedicated UX research course that you can take where you will learn how to run UX research. But in this course, the research is actually provided. So if I click into that, you can see that there is a UX research report where a lot of the insights are provided. And if you wanna learn how all this has been constructed, you can take on the UX research course because that course is all about running real world research, synthesizing it and actually delivering a report just like this one. Then once you have understood what the brief is about and you've learned how to strategize and plan it through, then we dive into the sitemap module where you'll learn how to create your own sitemap by going through a few challenges with me, but then also ultimately creating a sitemap for the booking accommodation platform project that we will work throughout this entire course. Once you've got your sitemaps, then we go ahead and create the user flow through for one of the most uh, detailed interactions and features for the platform. Once again, I will show you how to create a user flow. You'll go through a real world challenge by practicing it with platforms like Twitter and also Instagram. And then you'll go ahead and create your user flow for the project. In module five, it's all about wireframes. Now, this is going to be a beefy and very chunky module because I will be teaching you different tactics and frameworks that you can use for any project that's going to level up your UI design and your strategic thinking. We'll be using the F pattern. We'll be using the IA priority framework that I follow all the time that I use for the last 14 years and also the fog behavior model. 
These three things when combined is going to really help you strategize better layouts that are geared towards driving objectives for the business and for the product. They're really going to push the way that you think about how you lay things out, how you design things and how you prioritize things. And at the end, you also create the wireframes for the platform that we will create together. But ultimately, I will also be walking you through every decision that I made for the wireframes for this project. So you'll learn a lot of the strategic thinking that I implement into a real world project. Then in module six, we go ahead and build out our very own lean brand. It's going to be, since we have already strategized everything, we've got the site map, we've got the user flows and we've got our wireframes, you will then go in and create a lean brand step-by-step step through every lesson. And that would then lead you into actually building your very own mood board and your final lean brand uh, strategy. Then in module seven, you'll go ahead and just update this UI kit to match your very own lean brand uh, styles and direction, depending on what colors you pick and how you want it to look. Once again, this part is going to be optional. If you have your own process, you can use that. Then in module eight, I'll go ahead and utilize Webflow, which you can actually follow along with. I will be teaching you some technical concepts that will help you become a better UI designer by jumping into Webflow, which is a no code tool to actually show you how they work in the real world. Now it is designed in a way where you can follow along. And I really do hope that you do because then you'll start to learn how to actually build websites within my UX and UI design course. I'm always here to really push you to trying to learn new things and new tools so you can always expand your services and product offerings. Now, module nine is all about jumping into the actual project and starting to design. So if I zoom in, it's all about starting to design the actual project from scratch. So you'll go ahead and turn your wireframes into UI designs. And then I will also be sharing with you some of the UI designs that I have completed for this example project. Then in module 10, we go ahead and learn how to create a user test plan, which I will walk you through how to think about user testing, how to create a test plan, how to set up your prototypes, how to actually document your learnings and all that good stuff. So by the end of this course, you actually learn how to take a brief all the way up to designs and test them. So if I go ahead and pop back into the curriculum, you'll see that in module two, we go through a video lesson. Well, they're all, they're all video lessons, but we'll go through the brief. Then in module three, it's all around creating sitemaps. So as I mentioned before, I explain to you what a sitemap is. I then show you an example. You then go through an example by creating a sitemap for an example website. And then we go ahead and create the sitemap for our project. Similar with user flows, we do the same thing. Explain to you what a user flow is show you how to create a user flow. You then go ahead and create a user flow for Instagram or Twitter. And then we go ahead and create the user flow for our project. Module five is a very beefy one where I show you different tactics. As you can see, another different tactic to think about our wireframes and how to optimize them and how to think strategically. And there's another one as well. And then in module six, we start to create our a lean brand strategy. So step by step, we build upon that knowledge of how to create a brand. And at the end, we start to formalize it. Then in module eight, we jump into Webflow to learn some technical concepts that you can follow along with. Then in module nine, we jump into UI design where you start to take your wireframes, you create all the UI designs, and then I actually show you how I've done it. And I explain to you about some of the design decisions that I have implemented. And then in module 10, it's all around user testing. So how to create a test plan, how to set up your prototypes, how to document the, uh, the insights as well. So you can share that with your team. Everything has been documented. So by the end of this, once again, you can learn how to take a brief all the way to user testing. Hopefully that gives you a better understanding in terms of what you'll learn and what you'll be able to achieve from the UX and UI design course. Now, if you are interested, make sure to check the link in the description. There's more information there. With that said, I'll see you on the other side very soon.